fraudulent votes were actually cast? Or are you simply saying uh, we don't know because we couldn't see it? Look, uh, what we are asking for here is patience. Ron, I just mentioned to you the more than I believe it was 130 affidavits in Michigan alone. Um, we're aware of all the reports of thousands of votes in Nevada that were cast by those who are not eligible. We're hearing this, these reports. We're seeing them come in. We are vetting them. Uh, we are getting affidavits. So right now, we would point you to all of that. That information is publicly available. But what we're asking for right now is patience as we explore these equal protection claims, among others. So let me, can I add that? I'd, let me just add a couple things in this recent lawsuit. One, we do have a whistleblower, which I discussed uh, earlier this week, who was in Detroit as an election worker, not as a Republican poll watcher, who under affidavit says that they were told to backdate ballots, that their supervisor came and they were there on November 4th, ballots that came in with no date, they were told by the supervisor, backdate the ballots to November 2nd or November 3rd so they will count. So that has been submitted to the Eastern, uh, to the U.S. Attorney in the Eastern District of Michigan. That is via affidavit. Uh, if you look at the recent lawsuit, and Mike Reed can get you the information on this lit lawsuit, let me just share. An election employee with the City of Detroit working at a polling location for three weeks prior to the election, this City of Detroit employee directly observed on a daily basis other city of Detroit election workers and employees coaching voters to vote for Joe Biden and the Democrat Party. This employee witnessed these workers and employees encouraging voters to do straight Democrat ballot and witnessed these election workers and employees going over to the voting booths with voters in order to watch them vote and coach them who to vote for. During the last two weeks, while this same employee was working at the polling location, she was specifically instructed by her supervisors never to ask for a driver's license or any photo ID when a person was trying to vote. And as absentee ballots that existed were, all absentee ballots that existed were required to be input into the QVF system by 9 p.m. on November 3rd, 2020. This was required to be done in order to have a final list of absentee voters who returned their ballots prior to 8 p.m. on November 3rd, 2020. In order to have enough time to process the absentee ballots, all polling locations were instructed to collect the absentee ballots from the drop box once every hour on November 3rd. On November 4th, 2020, a City of Detroit election worker was instructed to improperly predate the absentee ballots received date and were, that were not in the QVF. She was told to alter the information in the QVF to falsely show that the absentee ballots had been received in time to be valid. The election employee also observed a large number of people who came into the satellite location to in, vote in person, but they had already applied for an absentee ballot. These people were allowed to vote in person and were not required to return the mailed absentee ballot or sign an affidavit the, the that the voter lost the mailed ballot. The the, listen, bad. here's the thing. Why aren't you worried about these irregularities? But no, this is a separate question. But it's a separate question, which is if you are finding these irregularities, if you have an election worker being told to backdate ballots, that's a problem. We're going to pursue all of this. Is it going to be enough? No, it's going to take time. Is it going to be enough? We don't know. Is it going to take time? Yes, it's going to take time. But what we are seeing is deeply alarming. Along with the software situation we had in Antrim County, which we need to get to the bottom of as well, now we have a whistleblower, and now we have a 30, 131 affidavits talking about irregularities and problems that were happening in Detroit. That's just Michigan.